Hi, this is Info Puppet. You guys are gonna kill me. I don't have a Photoshop Elements tutorial. Blah! I do need to tell you the five most unbelievable things that nobody really knows about a Mac. They're so awesome! Mac minis are like 500, 600 bucks. Check out my next tech tutorial. I got my Mac open and I've got three windows one here one here and another one and it's all cluttered but let me show you number one it's mission control this is so cool now you can hit F3 on your keyboard if you don't see a mission control icon but this is mission control we're in it well what's so great about this now you see my three windows, they're still here in Mission Control, but what is so cool, if you move your mouse to the top and start scrolling to the right, a little window will appear with a plus sign. Click on it, and what does that say? Desktop number two! Alright, so I just clicked on it, and I'm going to right click and change the background so we can figure out where we are. Alright, and let's see, this looks pretty good. Alright, I'll close that out. Now back to F3, I just hit, uh, let's hit F3 right now, we're back in Mission Control. I just clicked on F3, and F3 again, and now I just created another desktop. So I'm going to right click, and select the background. Let's see, what looks good? How about some rocks? I love rocks! Rocks are awesome! Alright, just hit F3 again. And so here's, uh, I'll show you another desktop, just hit F3 again. And now look, so here's desktop one. We've got our three windows that we saw before. Now watch how cool this is. You can left click, hold, and drag the windows to the di different desktops. It is so cool. Are you starting to see how this can make you really organized? All right, so here's desktop number one. Now if I hit command and the right arrow key, look how quick I can switch it between the desktops. Now I'm going to hit command and the and the left arrow key. Look at that! I love it! Okay, so here's iTunes. Here's another desktop. So you're not going to have clutter on your desktop when you can create as many as you want. Number two. This is also a, a neat feature. And if you just click, they just disappear. But... If you click this little plus sign in the lower left hand corner, they will stay. Okay, I just clicked on the calculator. Now, if you don't know what these are, look. See this little eye here? If you click on it, you know, you can put in what city you're actually in and it'll adjust the time to the right time for you. And again, here's a little eye right here for the weather. I'll just fill this uh, in the back where I actually am, and then my weather will be right. These are kind of like, they're like icons on a phone. But you can have them on a desktop when you have a Mac. Okay, so I'm just clicking on Command and the right arrow key and the left arrow key to see where I am right now. Alright, now let's look at a, uh, I guess, a video. And this is so cool. Number three. This is so cool. You can put colored labels on your uh, all your files all right I'm gonna click on a, a label here like that orange color and then I can sort things out by the colors of the labels now, I just clicked on the X to get rid of that the other thing I want to show you is when it's highlighted if you click on enter by the way this is number four uh, you can easily change the name of the folder a lot of people don't know how to change the name of a folder on a Mac just click on it so it's blue and hit the enter or return key Okay, and then you can right click on the desktop and select clean up. Clean it all up. That looks so great. I love it. Alright. Now, what we're going to do, number five is Finder. Now, a lot of you might use Finder, but this is what's so cool about Finder, the different views to check out all your files. 
got this view right here, which is kind of a, a text view with little icons. And then this is my favorite view though, where you can actually see what your file or image looks like. But this is what makes it even better, is you put your, your cursor right here until you see the hand, and you can adjust the window that you view to whatever you want it to be. Now, let's go to documents and click on the right arrow key or the down arrow key and I could just look at all my different videos and images so easy. I love it. All right, now the other thing is I want you to notice is as you're scrolling through the, the images, your Mac is also scrolling through the actual name of the file. Very nice, very well put together and organized. All right, let's close this out. And we're gonna right click on Chrome. And I'm going to hit minimize. I wanna show you something that's really cool. You see this green button right here? You can custom size your images and the green button will let you toggle in between the regular size window and your custom window. Now if you want to maximize it to the full screen size you click on that button I just clicked on and then hold your mouse up here again to minimize. When it's maximized the top taskbar will be invisible. Alright now we just hit F3 and we're going to get rid of some of these desktops. And when you get rid of the desktops, your Mac will take your windows and just put them on the remaining desktops so you still don't lose those. Okay, so we're back at desktop number one. I'm going to close some of these windows out. Get rid of iTunes. Minimize this. Alright, so let's go down here to... Safari, which is Mac's browser, and this is your default window look, and I like this because I can see the websites I've been to and easily click on one and go back to one that I want to visit frequently. This is, uh, you click on this button and that'll get you back to that view. And this is my favorite though, the download button. And this will show you all your recent downloads. Very easy to find, but at the very top. So we just click on the Apple now, and we'll go to uh, Dock, and turn hiding off. Okay, you see my dock is on the left hand side. And now I'm just gonna click on Dock again and put it on the right hand side. Yes. Now I'm just going to click on it again and put it at the bottom. Now if you go to the Apple icon and click on Dock and Dock Preferences, you can really do whatever you want to do with the, the Dock. This um, makes it larger or smaller. The magnification means what size will the Dock be when you roll your mouse over it like that. Alright. Let's click on the Apple icon again, and you see you got sleep and restart and shut down and log off and all that great stuff right up here. Okay, now I'm going to go to the icon, uh, go to, uh, oh, I want to point out, see how this said uh, this is all Finder? All these menus are for the Finder. Now, let's say we open up another program like well, let's say we open up Photoshop Elements. Now on a Mac, the, the menu items at the top now are no longer Finder. They're Photoshop Element items. Photoshop Elements Editor, File, Edit, Image, Enhance. These are all from Photoshop Elements. Okay. Now if I click on the desktop, I've got Finder and I click on Photoshop Elements. I'm back to the Photoshop Elements stuff. Now, 
We can quit Photoshop Elements by right clicking on the icon. But if I left click, hold and drag it off to the top, now it's gone off my dock! That simple! Now you see Chrome over here? I can't left click, hold and drag it. Why won't it disappear? Why do I lose an info puppet? Well, the reason why is because I have Chrome open. You see it over there on the right? So it has to be closed before you can drag it up and make it disappear. Now look, I just took Firefox, left click, hold, and dragged it, and now it's in my dock. Mac is a left click, hold, and drag platform. A drag and drop platform. Okay, let's talk about downloads. I just opened up. Uh, I got an image here, an email with an image, and there's the attachment. So how do we get this onto the Mac? Well, if you download it, you can see it downloading down here. And then you can click on Show in Finder. There it is. Okay, now what I can do is I'm looking at it in Finder. I can left click, hold and drag it on the desktop. And that's how easy I downloaded an image. Now, I'll show you another way to do it is you can uh, go to your download button. Okay, you see I just started downloading the image. Now I click on the download button and it's going to show me what it looks like. I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to click on the download button and, and the very first item is going to be what you just downloaded. Now I'm moving this over and now I can just left click, hold and drag right off of the download drop down menu and BOOM! It's on my desktop. That simple. Alright, we're going to click on the Apple icon. And... Also, of course, you can go to the App Store. This is another really cool thing. You've got all these apps that you can put on your Mac, kind of like uh, apps for a phone. And we'll click back on the Apple icon and you got uh, log out and sleep and all that other great stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to show you how cool a Mac can be. Thanks again. Leave a comment below from Info Puppet.